All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about 2021 quarterback NFL draft pro- draft prospect Kellen Mond, who I think is flying under the radar a little bit. He's a guy that has a bunch of tools, lots of potential, uh, and he had a, his, his 2020 season, his last season in, in school was his best season by far. He really took the next step, something that people have talked about him has been saying, you know, has he hit his ceiling? Uh, can he keep progressing to get better? Well, I think, yes, he can get better. I don't think he's hit his ceiling. He's shown improvement over time. Uh, this was his best touchdown to interception ratio he's ever had. It was better than six to one. And before that, he hasn't even had a three to one touchdown interception ratio in his career. And so this this past year, he had like 19 touchdowns and three picks. So it was better than six to one. That shows improvement. Complete percentage has gone up every year he started. It was better than 63% this year so that has improved over time then Texas A&M had their best season this year they've had since Kellamon's been there and so I think he's shown the ability to improve and I think he needs to find the right system in the NFL and the right um, coaches and instructors to continue to develop him and get him to, to a place where he needs to be but he by he definitely has all the tools that he needs to have a place in the NFL and so I won't speak too too much about it because I want to jump into the film I want to watch the things that he does well we're going to look at the, the different tools that he shows and then we'll look at a few things where, where he probably wants to uh, get better at and continue to improve at but a few of the, the a few of the talented uh, tools that he has of course he's a good athlete he can make you pay with his legs but he's looking to throw First, uh, he has the ability to push the ball downfield, has plenty of arm. He, he's a smart, mature thrower. He throws the receiver open, throws the receiver in space. Um, his ability to read defenses and just kind of decipher defenses, because he's seen pretty much every defensive look you can throw at him. Um, he's a smart thrower who uh, has just did a great job in 2020. I was super encouraged by him. Uh, a few things he probably wants to work on, and whenever he gets in trouble, is just being hesitant at times. The past few years, whenever he would uh, struggle, he was hesitant. His eyes would be locked in at one receiver at times. That would kind of lead to uh, bad throws or not the best decisions, but he did a lot better in 2020, but still a place you want to continue to improve on. So we'll watch a few clips of that as well. Uh, but let's just go ahead and just dive into the film. Let's see what he does well. Let's see what he brings to the next level and what an NFL team has to work. This is a great throw by Kellen Mullen showing something he does extremely well, and that's driving the ball downfield and doing it with accuracy. And we're really going to be able to see this accurate throw whenever we go to the end zone angle or the behind the center angle. Uh, let's go ahead and watch this play here. We'll see kind of a, a quick play action. And he stays in rhythm, uh, which is important. Let's receiver get downfield. And it's good coverage, but you're going to see a perfect thrown ball by Kellen Mond. Let's go ahead and watch this angle here. Quick play action. One, two, three. Hitch up. Good throw. Mm. Good ball. And let's watch this end zone angle here behind the center angle. Watch how he throws it to space. Watch how he throws it where grass is. Boom. Grass is over here. Let the receiver go adjust. Good ball, Kellen Mond. So this is a great example here of Kellen Mond's kind of maturity over the past few years and just how his experience really is coming into play and his ability to read defenses, recognize coverage, and being able to throw efficiently. Whenever Kellen Mond's in a groove and he's in the zone, like he, he can be potentially as good as any quarterback out there. Uh, it's just kind of staying in that zone and staying within himself. But when he's efficient and, and when he feels good and when that back foot hits, there's no, when, when there's no hesitation at all, he's able to let it rip. And so we're going to see uh, man coverage here. The safety is going to be up top here, and we're going to see the safety these hips kind of lean towards this way and this inside slot receiver is going to be able to come here kind of a skinny post if you will and Kellen Mond rips it before the safety can adjust and before the uh even before the, the, the receiver's head turns let's go ahead and watch this play here and we'll watch the end zone angle as well watch ball is out before the heads even turn around he's just breaking in this is a no-brainer this is a great shot right here good stuff let's go watch the behind the center angle Watch this. One, two, hitch, boom. Good ball. So Kellen Mond, another play, uh, a clip against uh, Florida. And right here is close to the end of the game. Uh, Florida's up 38-31. And it kind of seems like Florida maybe has some momentum. But this is his Kellen Mond again, showing his maturity and showing his ability to make some big-time throws in some big-time games, which he did several times at, at his career uh, at Texas A&M. And, uh, while this is a hell of a catch by the receiver, I want to give him credit because that's a great catch. This just shows Mount Mond's ability. When, when, you, if you, when you have the ability like Mond to spread the field uh, and, and one play you can you know change the game essentially that's exactly what happens here this is shows uh mon's special ability he throws it about 55 ish yards in the air from outside the pocket and uh, yes it's a bomb but still kind of on a line too so he still has more uh yardage if he was trying to go max out so it shows his arm strength yes but his ability to make some big plays in a big time situation against florida which they were able to come back and win let's go ahead and watch this play 
You want to see him roll out here. Gets his feet set, lets it rip. But see, it's still on a line, right? Wow, that is awesome. Let's watch the end zone angle. A little half roll, sets his feet, lets it rip. Still on a line. Hell of a catch, too. Awesome all-around play. So this is another good example of Kellen Mond's maturity uh, that has come from his experience and his ability to just throw where the defender is not. So initially it looks like the ball is thrown behind the receiver, and it, it is, but it's thrown behind the receiver on purpose because you're going to see if he led the receiver, uh, then that would probably would have been an interception. Well, you can make the argument that he was late in the throw, which he should have thrown the ball earlier. Um, he was still smart enough to know not to lead the receiver uh, uh, a bit further as that would have Result, resulted in an interception. So let's go ahead and watch this uh, clip here. This shows his uh, intelligence and his uh, football IQ. Even though we do we do wish he would have thrown it right now, but he throws it late, but still it's thrown behind him, so the DB cannot get it. Let's go ahead and watch this angle as well. You wish he threw it earlier, but boom, throws it behind. So if he would have led him, that's the interception. Here's another good example of, of Kellen Mond and, and, again, his experience, but his uh, his experience that led to just his maturity here. We're going to see him uh, be successful in this throw because of his eyes and where he in that he's able to look off the defender and keep the defender in his in place for long enough time to get this receiver to come open. Uh, so we got man down here, and this is kind of, it's, it's man if this receiver would have gone deep or stayed in this half of the field, but you'll see it's zone. Once this receiver comes to the safety zone, then he kind of hands him off if you will and so that's just where we get Kellen Mond to keep his eyes in this position which is going to keep this corner in this position and allow this uh, slot receiver to break free here with no one up top to help and we're going to see Kellen Mond do a good job keeping uh, this corner in this kind of zone area so let's go ahead and watch this play here so we see man 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 so now he's supposed to switch off right but this DB is watching Kellen Mond's eyes, who's watching right here. But this receiver is coming free, and now this DB can't get over uh, to get on top in time. Awesome play. Good play. He looks wide open. That's because of Kellen Mond and his ability to uh, lead the defense with his head. It's going to watch. Watch. He's looking, 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 looking. Then looks away, throws. Good ball there as well. Mm, awesome. So the game against LSU this past year in 2020 was probably Kellen Mond's uh, worst game. And there's a few things that he would probably be the first to admit that he needs to kind of clean up and get a little better on. Um, and it kind of just showed against LSU. So we're going to see we have what looks like probably man defense here uh, with one up top safety who's cheating over to the, the trip side here. And we're going to see Kellen Mond just hesitate a bit, which is something that, you know, um, has been something that he's, been continuing to improve on he's he's going to hesitate a little bit um and wait uh to to, to make this throw that the inside slot receiver is going to be doing a hitch he's open but for a reason Kellen Mond just waits a little bit and he also has his eyes locked on his receiver right here which gives the DB time to break in the ball initially he you know the this DB is seven eight yards off the line of scrimmage and he's actually open right when he does his hitch but due to uh Kellen Mond just being hesitant having his eyes locked down the DB is able to make a break on the ball and break it up let's go ahead and watch here and kind of see what I'm talking about boom the ball should be out right now, but it's not yet, allowing both DBs, both this DB and the, the linebacker to break here. Waits. Boom. Let's go ahead and watch the end zone angle as well. You'll be able to see that he stays locked on with his eyes. The ball should be out now. It's not. He just took an extra hitch, but you see how that extra hitch changes things. So here's another example of, of Kellen Mond uh, keeping his eyes locked on one receiver um, as opposed to kind of scanning the rest of the field. And it's not that it's a bad uh, necessary decision. It's just when you're manned up against one of the best DBs in all of college football, Derek Stingley, he's pressed and he's going to try to throw a back shoulder fade. And uh, he looks at him the whole time. There's just really nothing there compared to kind of scanning the, the rest of the field. You're going to see off coverage here. This receiver comes open on a small, uh, short, a shallow dig route, a uh, shallow, shallow in route. And so um, we'll just see this is just another example. Again, probably nitpicking a bit, but just, just showing something that, you know, hey, let's scan the field as opposed to keeping the eyes locked on, you know, one receiver. So let's go ahead and watch this clip here and you'll see what I'm talking about. You're going to see perfect coverage by Stingley. Boom. Step for step, this receiver comes open right down the middle. Let's go watch the end zone angle. Get behind the center view. You'll see his eyes the whole time, where they go the whole time. Here, 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 throws it. So just another example here. 
So again, just a few clips that show and demonstrate what he does well as a quarterback and other and places that he probably wants to continue to improve on. But overall, I think he's a great prospect. Uh, he's 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 worth the NFL taking a good pick on him, and I think he's going to have the ability to develop at the next level, whatever that role looks like. I think there's a place for Kellen Mond just because of his tool sets and his ability to continue to grow and get better. So. Again, if you like this video, please like it. Uh, leave us a comment if you have any comments. Subscribe if you like anything quarterback-related content. We put out film breakdowns like this. We put out educational kind of quarterback tips that we have for what we look for with our quarterbacks and how we screen and assess them and what it leads to in the weight room. And then, of course, we have uh, college-related college, college -related quarterback content, NFL draft breakdown content and, and any other quarterback content you can imagine. So if, if you're a fan of the quarterback position and all things quarterback, please consider giving us a, a subscription and, and just kind of give us a like and leave us a comment. And we're going to continue to get better each and every time. And we we'll look forward to seeing you next time.